Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and uh, just to mention my new setup the way that I have now set up since uh, yesterday the computers around me so I have and still have a Windows 10 computer that is on 21H2 that one of course is kept so that I can continue making more videos on Windows 10 and talk about Windows 10 to you guys because it is still the major operating system to talk about but I have moved two computers. I had one in the dev channel, which was, um, of course, right now in the same as the beta channel because they were the same for a while. But now dev channel is going to 23H2, which is next year with new features. So that one is dev channel and build 25115. And finally, my main computer, the one that I use here, that I make videos with, that I game with, I've decided that... Uh, take a chance and moved on to um, 22H2, which is the beta channel and the insiders. So I decided to move that there. And uh, of course, that means that I have one computer left that is on the regular standard uh, Windows 11 channel for a stable channel. Uh, so it is going to be interesting to see as we go forward how all of this is going to work. And uh, these, uh, I'll be able to make videos for pretty much every version that is a um, useful version, basically. Uh, for those that are asking about uh, Windows 10 21H2, 22H2, sorry, um, a lot of you are saying, well, there's, that's, there's no such thing. Yes, there is. There is. Microsoft still says there is 22H2. But don't expect that to resemble Windows 11 or have anything Windows 11 like if you want or similar to Windows 11 it's really simple um, cumulative update that's gonna be there and that's gonna be pretty much it so uh, that's the way it's gonna work uh, basically for the uh, Windows 10 22h2 a small cumulative update at some point what is curious about 22h2 for Windows 10 is the fact that we don't really have any um, you know any testing going on still and I mean we're just May and if it comes out in October I mean there's time still but usually May June there's there should already have been some form of testing of 22 H2 for Windows 10 which is kind of weird but we know it's a thing and uh, we know it's coming and last but not least because I hear it all the time with uh, uh, a lot of people are posting wrong information about uh, the fact that uh, the um, Windows 10 operating system's uh, support is ending this year. It's not. If you are ending support this month, it's because you're not up to date. You have to update to the latest version of Windows 10. The official date where Windows 10 is going to end support is J December of 2025. And that is not changing. It's not going to change and nobody is being pushed to Windows 11 if you are pushed to Windows 11 that's because you accepted the download and install for Windows 11 if you don't touch it if you don't do nothing you're not forced to Windows 11 nobody is and so um, if you are getting end of support messages you need to update to the latest version it's as simple as that that's what's going to give you the update till 2025 if you enjoyed my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.